The tobacco industry denies vehemently that they target black groups or any other group. It just isn't true. We advertise nationally to everybody. But the charge is made that these days, the industry goes beyond buying advertising to buying influence. At entertainment, cultural, and sports events across the country, good times mingle with the cigarette message in the form of banners, hats, and free samples. Hey, enjoy the sale, enjoy the sale. And that's not all. The cigarette companies are very fond of portraying themselves as the leading corporate benefactors to such organizations as the United Negro College Fund or the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Our concern with the black community goes, predates any question of the uh, issue of smoking in health or attempt to use it. And to say that this is something new is crazy. We fund a wide range of organizations from the Boy Scouts to the YMCA's to art museums to hospitals. But the critics maintain that because black groups are so dependent on tobacco company funding, black publications and leaders tend not to speak out about smoking's impact on their community. Again, the industry cries foul. You get zealots, I will even call them nuts, who engage in a kind of McCarthyism based on statistics which are unreliable, which are contradictory. They know it's going to kill these people, and they're willing to uh, peddle cigarettes in any way that will be successful for them to get richer.